This is more than an afternoon prayer. It is a last goodbye to 17-year-old foreign exchange student Sabika Shah. We did not have children. She was the first one who called us mom and dad. She was literally like a daughter to us. Uzma Parveen was Sabika's first host mother in the United States. This photo from Sabika's Instagram feed shows a teenager excited about life in the United States. Parveen says Sabika had big dreams. She wanted to be everyone and the only regret that she wanted to be famous. Not like that. I don't want to see her picture on the TV like that. I don't want to see that she was one of the victims. Attending this funeral is Jerry Manlove, the coordinator of the exchange program. She remembers texting Sabika the day of the shooting and never getting a response. She and two other students and a teacher hid in the classroom. They hid, they found a closet, but the boy found them. If anybody listens to me, I have only one appeal. Please do something. No children should be taken away from parents. It hurts. Believe me, it hurts. One metal detector could have saved her. Just one. Friends say Sabika was looking forward to going home in a few weeks at the end of Ramadan. Her second host family attended and spoke at the funeral. When she started Ramadan and started fasting, my family did that with her because we did things together. She was the most beautiful, loving person I've ever met. The families and friends touched by Sabika say knowing her has changed their lives permanently. For that, they are thankful to her parents in Pakistan. Thank you for sharing such a wonderful daughter with us, with me and Rasha. Thank you so much. We are with you in your grief. We are not going to be the same people anymore. <laughs> they say Sabika may be gone, but her love will always be with them. Elizabeth Lee, VOA News, Stafford, Texas.